Hello and welcome. In this video, I shall demonstrate how to create and remove directories using the Windows command line. So let's get started. I'm going to fire up the Windows command line and I shall be using some commands throughout this video and I will explain what they mean or what they do. So CD is the first one and that stands for change directory and that is followed by the name of the directory that you want to navigate into. In this case, it's CMD and you see that has worked successfully. The next command I shall run is DIR and that will list all of the contents of the current directory, which in this case is nothing. The next command I shall run is MKDIR and that stands for make directory and should be followed with the name of the directory that you want to make, which is example in this case. And if I run DIR again, you can see that that example folder has been successfully created. So now I'm going to navigate into the example folder and I used a little shortcut there. I just typed in CD and then press space and tab and it completed that word for me example because it's the only folder inside the CMD folder. If I type tab, it will know that that is the folder I'm after and it will, it will type the word for me essentially. So now I'm inside of the example folder and if I type DIR, we can see that that is empty. So I'm going to navigate back out of this folder into the parent folder and now I shall type RMDIR followed by example and that stands for remove directory. So I'm going to remove that example directory and if I type DIR again, we can see that that has been successfully removed. So that is how you create and remove directories, but there's a little bit more that I wanted to show you. So I'm going to create that directory again. And another thing you can do with Windows Command Prompt is if you press the upwards arrow key, you can go through the commands that you've run in this session. So I can find make directory command and that just saves me from typing it again. So I'm going to run that. Then I'm going to navigate into the example folder. And this time I'm going to create another directory and I'll call this folder. You see that's been created successfully and I shall navigate out into the parent directory again. And now I'm going to try and remove the example folder, but this time it returns a message that says the directory is not empty. And if I run DIR, we can see that example has not been removed. And the reason is, is because it is not empty. And with the command I ran, you cannot remove directories that have internal directories with that command. But it's easy enough to do. You just have to add a forward slash S after the RMDIR command. And that will make it remove all internal folders as well. So if I run that. It will ask me, am I sure? I'll type Y for yes. And now if I type DIR, we can see that that example folder has been removed. So I hope you found this video helpful. And until next time, goodbye.